good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. This guy has outstanding defense. And having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. So as this confident young fighter makes the walk here tonight, he's probably thinking, I'm gonna get my opponent to the mat. You know what? He's not gonna be able to get up. And I think for a lot of fighters who have dealt with the top game of this young man, they just can't get out from underneath him. He controls you, keeps his weight on you, and, and he just uses his hips beautifully to maintain a dominant position. Certainly, he has sapped willpower and gas tanks throughout his MMA career, and at times, guys, have to give up. This guy is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. He has had massive success, not just inside the octagon, but in the world of straight grappling. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He's at five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, monster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting a Sao Paulo, Brazil, assassin. And the attributes are going to be in charge of Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Big punches. <laughs> Unable to land on the uppercut there, but now starting to use that reach advantage. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Nice shot. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, super hand punches. Good. You can tell he's been working on that. Nice. Big left hand there inside. Oh, solid jab. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Landed that punch flush. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. That one hurt. Two minutes remain in the round. Huge uppercut misses. There he swung with a haymaker. Caught him with a punch. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Now he goes for the single leg.
might be out. Let's go. Try to establish that jab. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, found the home for that left hand. He lands a Superman punch. Beautiful jab. Round two next. All right, take a seat, Jimmy, buddy. Breathe. Get a deep breath in. All right, here's some water. Ready? Listen. All right. Now you're doing awesome out there. And that's what started everything off, that beautiful jab. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Brittany Palmer is in the building. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. He's definitely gonna wanna start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to him. Oh! He's hurt here. shot from the bottom. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Lands a good shot from the bottom. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Nice. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He transitions back to half guard. Setting up a sub here. It looks like he's got the reverse triangle locked up tight. Getting tighter. Oh, oh my God. God. Set it up, close it off, got the choke for the tap. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. Let's look at it from a different angle. Reverse triangle, perfectly executed for the submission victory. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward.